sunflowers, daisies, roses, you name it, for a handful of high V florists in the middle of their busy season. We have weddings this weekend, we have big events this weekend. They're taking the time to smell the roses, and the carnations, and the orchids, and just about any other flower you can think of. For the second year in a row, the grocery store chain organized an extreme floral challenge. Today is the semifinals for the area that includes Omaha, Sioux Falls, and Council Bluffs. I've never done one of these before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. The competitors have two and a half hours to create five different designs, four of which they can do whatever they want, but the last one has to be from a picture and they have to get it exactly. You walk in and you don't know what you're going to do, you don't know what flowers you have. Paul Simpson is representing the Omaha High V off 50th and Center. And they assign you categories and containers for some things, some things you have some flexibility, and then you just kind of get to create and really play with flowers. Now, he's a seasoned pro. He's worked on projects from the Rose Bowl, even the Academy Awards, and says he's competed in other contests. Compare that to Tiffany Eric. She's been a florist for 11 years, but has never done any type of competitions, anything like this. What's her strategy? <laughs> start with the easiest first. More than anything, it's a colorful, creative break from the typical day-to-day, -day. and with any luck, could also mean a little green in the form of cash money for whoever wins the competition. Just beautiful. Well, the top two winners from today will go on to the finals in November in Des Moines.